Find out that which has been revealed, that which you hold inside of you. Alright. Guys, you heard him saying that the word Taqwa meaning read and recite, correct? Did he say that? Be my witness. Two meaning. Read and recite. Let us go for the first one. You, everybody heard you saying, if you say to someone recite, it means he will recite a, a poem. He will recite a poetry. Correct, guys? He said that, right? Which means he's something memorized. So the angel saying to Muhammad, recite what you memorize. That means Muhammad is a false prophet because already he knows the Quran. And the angel is not giving him anything. He is just saying to him, recite what you know already. And that means he is the one who made the Quran and all what he needs to do now to recite what he made, what he knows already. It's inside. It will be revealed. But you don't say to him, recite something will be revealed in the future. Recite is the word to say for someone he have it already in his memory. What soul have to do with this? Listen, you just told, told him recite. Recitation is repeating something from your memory, not even reading it. Something by heart. A song, a poetry, uh, whatever. So the angel is saying to him recite, that's me, Muhammad already have Quran. And he's saying to him, recite it for us. Tell us what you remember. Right? Explain to us even how Muhammad he makes such a mistake. Because obviously this is will ex expose uh, him as a prophet. Muhammad is saying something. Uh, will prove that Muhammad is a false prophet. He is saying that angel says to me, recite. This is mean already he knows the Quran. And he's fabricating stories. Your mind. <laughs> Thank you, Christian Prince. Okay, I've given you the first half. Where did he recite from? When the Prophet was asked, what is the soul? What is the ruh? The ruh is kulur. What is it? Say to them, it is the amr. It is the command of God. You have it inside of you. This is not... What command? What is that, man? What is the drama? He is asking him to recite. You make now the recite a command. Okay, command. Or command to do what? To recite. What does have to do with Ruh and the Spirit and what's wrong with you? He just told him one word, recite. Okay, recite what? Do Muhammad know Quran already? No, this is the first word he heard from his God. Actually, it's not his God saying it, it's the angel supposedly. So recite what? Allah, Muhammad, he know the Quran in his heart? This is mean he do not need the angel. He have it already. So the angel is saying to him, recite, and the proof of what I am saying, even Muhammad is saying, recite to him, recite what? According to you, right? If this is what you recite, he's saying, I will recite what? So, what recite mean? You see, guys, how one word in the Quran troubled the whole religion? The first word in the story of Muhammad doesn't make sense, and the whole Quran collapsed. So I'm going to give you the mic, Mr. Evan. Please fix your mistake. There's a mistake here. Allah said to Muhammad, recite, or he said to him, read. Recite, obviously, will prove Muhammad to be a false prophet. So what it is? Do you insist it is recite? Your mind? <coughs> Okay, I guess I'm on the mic, okay? Go ahead and go, your mic. Yeah, you know, it's, I love this. This is a... Do 
Please nobody take a mic until I give it to you. Evan, your mic. Explain to us, is it really recite or read? Your mic. Can I get the mic or am I going to get rid of it? Evan, are you there? Are you there, Evan? Take the mic. Is it recite or read? Correct it, please. What is what? What the problem now? It is both. Read that which is being written on your soul and recite it. That is what it is. It is both. Yes, read what is written on your soul, on your ruh. What is the command? It doesn't help when you laugh at the truth. It doesn't help you at all. Muhammad, he can, read, he can read what is written in his soul? Muhammad, he can read what is written in his soul. So what the benefit of the angel? Already it's written there. Why the angels keep coming and bring him Quran? It's written there, man. He can read it all. It's revealed when? When it's revealed? What are you talking about? Muhammad, he never had Quran in his soul. Where do you get this from? The angel was delivering Quran to Muhammad, verse by verse. There's no revelation in the Quran. Is it delivery by Jibreel or it was inspiration? Answer the question, please, in the mic. It was delivered by Jibreel or Muhammad was inspired Quran, you mind. <coughs> You're obviously having trouble understanding what I am saying. If it is beyond you, I can explain it to you so slowly if you don't read dot me. If you allow me to speak to you and to explain it to you carefully, maybe you will get an understanding of what I am saying to you. When the Prophet was said to read, what was he reading? <coughs> what was he reading? Slowly. The ruh is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he was obviously taught how to read what was written on his soul. He was sadiq al He was the, truth, the, the truthful and the trustworthy. Do you understand that? Allah has given you a natural inclination. Do you deny that you know what is beauty and you know what is ugly? Do you deny? So this is now about not the word of God. Already he, Muhammad, he know what is a beauty, correct guys? This is for everybody. This man, prophet too. I know what's beauty, I know what's ugly. It's written in my soul. And Allah is saying to me, read it. That is the, the most funny answer ever I heard. <coughs> Guys, it's written in your soul what is what is ugly, what is beautiful. And Allah saying to Muhammad, read it. Well, this is not what the verse says, just to show you how funny what you, you are, Mr. Ibn. The Quran says, read in the name of your Lord, the one who taught by the pen. By what? By the pen. By what? By what? By the pen. It is something written by the pen. He is the one who taught mankind by the pen. Pen. Something written by pen, it's been written by ink. And it's not going to be written in your heart by the pen. Right? So where are you guys getting this from? Obviously, you Muslims are in trouble. You cannot even explain it because this is a very bad news for you. Muhammad is a scam. He was a wrong word saying Allah, he told me, or the angel told me to read. 
Some you say, sometimes you say it may recite. Recite obviously will mean that he is knowing it by heart before he receives it, which is proven that the whole Quran is nothing but a fabrication. If it is read, well, this is very stupid again. How will you read something he never taught him <coughs> or give him anything to read? It means that the angel is stupid too. He is telling Muhammad the wrong order. Number three, if Muhammad cannot read, why he tell him read? Number number four, actually. Why Muhammad keeps saying to the angels, I cannot recite if it is recite? Do you know even? Why Muhammad keep repeating, I cannot recite? Why is that? Do you know? The inspiration of Allah is not working with him. Three times he said, I cannot. Who am I? Are you searching Google? Even? Hello? What do you think, guys? Am I hurt? The whole story of Muhammad is nothing but a fabrication. The guy, he said a word, obviously one word. From the beginning, the first word in the Quran is a lie. The angel told him, read, read what? We have no idea. Stupid talk. If it's recite, he said, I cannot recite. Why you cannot recite? He just told you one word. Just one word. Why you cannot recite it? If it is read, he gave me nothing to read. Number two, Muhammad, this Muslim, they say, Muhammad cannot read. So why he saying to him, read, unless he want to make a miracle? You know, if Jesus said to a donkey, read, trust me, the donkey will read in all languages. Allah said to Muhammad, three times read, still Muhammad cannot read. Not only this, he argue. Not only this, he need to be squeezed. And after all the squeezing and the arguing, still Muhammad cannot read. Muhammad is confused. The angel is exhausted from squeezing Muhammad. Muhammad go to his wife, he's shaking and breaking. He go to his wife, he go under the blanket, he said, cover me, cover me, I don't know what's wrong with me. So where is the inspiration and where is etc. What's happening here? All of this just because he told him read? What will happen if he said to him, don't read? What will happen is if he told him go to, go to Disneyland? Just he said to him, read. This is happening to him. He go crazy. He's snoring like a camel. His wife, she is covering him. He have a fever. The guy that's so sick. You see now, Ibn, he will stop. He will stop moving. This is what happened always to Muslims, when you corner them, they play dead. They play dead. After five, ten minutes, they leave the room quietly. We we'll stop moving now. Anyway, your mic, uh, Sam. Go ahead. Wow. That's really something. Christian Prince just showed how uh, Islam, the rocket of engine, just blew up on the launch pad. The launch pad blew up. Wow.